Good morning. I'm so excited because Otakon has always been one of my cons that I've always wanted to go to, so I can scratch that off my bucket list. It's just gonna be an exciting weekend. <laughs> Now time to dance. I need to refresh up my dancing bow stuff. I just finished dancing for one hour. Uh, my whole bag is drenched. Definitely made a lot of mistakes. So I'm glad I took the time to go over it again. Like unpacked my stuff. We're gonna go get the badge now. We weren't able to get the badge because we're here too late. I'm sad now. should probably give you an update. So I'm staying at my high school best friend's place uh, with his wife. They live an hour away from the convention. And so we're taking Metro. That's the best option to avoid DC traffic. And we try to get the badge and they close at 10 o'clock. We got there at like 9.45. For me, if I plan something and the plan doesn't go well the way I planned it, then I get really sad and depressed. And initially, after getting the badge, we were going to go to um, Tiger Fort and Tiger Fork was hosting this event, like a tasting event, basically. And we didn't know that it was gonna be like a bar kind of setting. We thought it was like a sit-down restaurant. And so that was like bad on our part. So we walk in and like the music is blasting. We can't hear each other. We have to like literally shout at each other's face to hear what we're saying. The portion sizes were super small. Those three items were like $27 and it did not fill us up at all. So all three of us were still hungry. I, it was just not a good time after figuring out that we weren't able to get our badge. But I feel much better now after talking with Kira and Ryan, just talking it out. It can only be better from here. Um, I'm looking forward to the rest of the days. Yeah, day zero has been one hell of a roller coaster. It's time to sleep. I wanted to sleep in more, but we're gonna get up. Time for my shoes, so I had to get out of the line and I'm meeting the photographer now, but <laughs> such a bummer because if I had the badge already, I wouldn't have to worry about it. I'm just so pissed. I'll just have to get the badge after my shoot. Hopefully the line isn't too bad. We just finished the shoot. She was actually quite hard just because like Shiro, like she's not very cute. She's not very sassy. So like I had a hard time doing her mood. I didn't get much of a preview, but hopefully we got some good shots. Now I'm just gonna go back in line and wait for <laughs> registration again. The line is wrapping around the building. Oh my god, it's way longer than when I first waited in line. So I'm back at where I started this morning and it took me 40 minutes to get here. I'm wasting so much time right now. It's ridiculous. It wraps around the building and then in front of the main entrance and then around. Oh my god. I'm back here again. So I was supposed to get lunch with one of my friends um, after I get my badge, but he has shoots coming up, so he can't wait for me. So he's gonna go ahead and get through without me. So I have to make plans again, and I was looking forward to having lunch with him, but I guess not. So another plan fell through, and I'm just, this day is not going well. 
So after two hours, I finally got the badge. It's really cool because it's reflective, but it took me so painstakingly long to get it. While I'm waiting for Kira and Ryan to get me food, I'm gonna head to the video game room and play Dance Evil because I need something to make me happy and dancing always makes me happy. One set of dance heroes just made me feel 20 times better. I just finished filming the CMV and got a little token, but now I have food. Looking through the area, I got lost a few times. I'm waiting for Ryan so we can go back to the car. I'm gonna actually change because Chiro is actually com comfortable, but the wig is just too much. It's so long. We're out here dying right now. I'm dying. <laughs> I'm dying. It's so hot outside. It's even hotter to here than like Atlanta. Hey, people questioning why I'm wearing a hoodie. Why are you wearing a hoodie anyway? Jesus. My outfit. I need to do my hair. Take off my contacts. I played a few sets, now it's time to actually head to the artist alley. Of course, I wasn't expecting me to finish it. Oh, it feels so nice outside today. Like, right, right, right now, right now. Earlier, it was shit, but you know, right now, it's good. You're gonna get food now. Kira and Ryan are actually gonna go back. Once I'm finished here, Ryan's gonna pick me up from the metro. So actually, Otakon's artist alley closes at 10 p.m. Usually, Georgia cons, they close like 7. So I'm surprised they're, they're open so late. Shopping-wise, like at this time, was really good because there's less people. Yeah, I wanted to play Pump, but Ryan told me 11 no Pump is okay, but 11.30 is pushing it, so I might as well just go back now. Alright, it's late because I was talking with them, chilling. Day one, we started off with a rocky start, but it got better after playing Dance Evo and then receiving compliments about the cosplay and then even receiving compliments for my Hanfu clothes. So it all got better after after the badges. I'm glad I was able to use as most of the time as I could. I'm looking forward to day two. It's gonna be better than day one for sure. I'll see you guys.